Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. Lewick and this video is going to show you how we are going to use the website typing.com this year. And if you're already watching this, that means you have already clicked on the assignment or the new material typing.com and you got to our stream and you've clicked on the video, which isn't on this screen, but you have it on yours. When you're done watching the video, you want to go back and log into typing.com. That's what I'm going to do now. All right, here we go. Now to log in, you want to look in the top right hand corner right over here and you want to click on student log in. That's going to take you to the student login page. You will click on the blue Google button. It turns white when you hover over it. So you'll click on that. As a teacher, I need to sign in a little bit differently. So I'm going to get signed in. You'll click on this. And if another window pops up saying yes or no about signing in, please click yes. Okay, and once you log in, you are to the typing.com homepage. The first thing that everybody is going to do is to take what is called a test. That's just going to see how you're doing with your typing as far as accuracy. That's how many letters you get correct when you're typing and how fast you are, your fluency. So up here in the top menu bar, it says tests. You're going to click on that. And you're going to take the one minute test, which is right here. So I'm going to click start, just like you will, and you let it load up. All right. Okay. So you're going to hear that, and you just want to type what it's showing you here. It's not going to start the countdown of one minute till you press your first letter, your first key, and then it's going to count down. You won't see the countdown, but you want to type you know, as quickly as you can, but as carefully. You want to get as many right as you can as well. So when I start typing, Now yours, you might not hear the guy talking, which is fine. Um, and I just keep typing. If when I make a mistake, it turns red, that's okay. Yeah, I don't think yours is going to have the sound on it. All right, so you keep going and going. All right, we're back. So he was reading to me what this says. Again, I don't think yours is going to have a sound on it, um, but there was a countdown over here. It's at zero. And let's see, it's telling me you typed the one minute typing test. Your speed was 17 WPM. That means words per minute. So the faster you type, the higher this number is going to be with 97% accuracy. All right, so it's going to keep track of that. We don't want to print any certificates, but then you want to go back to typing tests. I want to show you what this looks like. Okay, so it's going to keep track of how you are doing. You can see I took a test yesterday because um, I was just kind of playing around with it. Today I tried a little harder. Or Sorry, yesterday I was playing around with it. Today I was playing around with it. You want to see improvement. So each day that you take the test, you want to see that you're doing better. Now, we're not taking that test every day, but every once in a while, you want to get on there and see, okay, have I improved after all of this practice? Now, as far as practicing, so up in the top, you're going to see lessons. Click on lessons. And if you've already been doing this, some of these lessons are going to be filled in green. You want to find where to start, and you click on start. If you have some filled in green, you can start wherever the next white button is. But if you want to go back and review, you can. So when you click start, it says this. Okay, so I can press the P key, but I just like to click on the play button here. If you want to skip it, you click skip. And it's going to take you to the first lessons. Use your right index finger to type your story. 
Okay, so you just follow the directions. It takes you through each lesson and it gets a little bit more, uh, I'll say harder or complicated. It starts off really basic. Um, but when we practice our keyboarding, this is what we're going to do. You can practice anytime you want. You can do it at home when you get extra time in the classroom. And then every once in a while, we're going to take one of those tests because um, you want to see how much you are improving. You can go back and take the test anytime you want. Like maybe you're going to go home and like, man, I'm going to do this for five days straight. At the end of five days, see how much you've improved. See if your speed has improved and see if your accuracy has improved. Okay, that's it. Get as far as you can. Have some fun.